Hello, welcome to this video on uh, Eginus, uh, Lesson 11, Exercises 1 to 3. Um, that's at pages 151 to 153 of the, of the printed book. So exercise 1 at the top of page 151. Um, write in Devanagari with correct internal and external sandhi and translate. Um, these sentences here are all written without sandhi. Your task here is to apply the correct sandhi here. So I'll go through them one by one. Sentence A, without... And here and I, of course, we're talking about internal sandhi as well. So look at the first word, ramena, written without a subdotted n. This becomes ramena with the retroflexion because of the effect of the r. So, Ramena Saha with Rama. Similarly, Shastrani. That should be a retroflex na because of the immediate word proceeding before a vowel. R Shastrani. The fruit, the two fruits here, the two fruits are on sta, that's the dual, um, third person dual, they two are, are on the horse. Now, don't fall into the trap here. In most cases, but not for a neuter dual, in most cases, a word ending in an e, followed by another word beginning in a vowel, the e becomes a by sandhi. That rule does not apply um, for the if the a is a neuter dual, so the pale ashve staha remains unchanged. Pale, the two fruits ashve on the horse staha ah, so the two fruits are on top of the horse. Next one written as saha gachati, well, as we now know. Um, the visarga drop, the visarga of saha drops before all um, consonants, so there would be sa gachati, written just as the pure, pure sa, as I showed you um, earlier in Sanskrit, that would be written in, in Devanagari, sorry, I should say, that would just be written as sa standing on its own, sa gachati. Sagachati. Sentence E written as Saha Balaha Agachati. Remember the Aha followed by a long A, indeed followed by any vowel other than a short A. What happens there is the Visarga drops. For the Saha, the Visarga drops um, by the rule we've just learned. So it becomes Sabala Agachati. Sabala Agachati. Sentence F, written as Bala Mam Agachati. Well, that's a common one. You all know that well now. That becomes Balo Mam Agachati. The boy comes to me. Balo Mam Agachati. And remember, there's no Sandhi between Mam and Agachati because you have an M followed by a vowel. You run them together in writing, but they're two separate words, and it's legitimate and most normal, and indeed a practice that I strongly favor, um, to write those as two separate words in Le uh, Roman script. We don't need to run them, run them together. We can separate them without, as it were, spoiling the spelling or spoiling the sandhi. Um, look at Sabala, that girl comes to me. Sabala mama gachati. Any Sandhi rules to be applied here? No. Sa, bala, ma, ma, gachati. Um, no, no Sandhi rules to be applied. Sentence H. Tam gachati. He goes to her. That all that happens there, of course, is the, the M becomes the Anuswara. So tam gachati. Saha bala gachati, that boy goes. What happens here? Well, the saha becomes sa, as we've just seen. 
Balo Gachati. So, Sabalo Gachati. That boy goes. Sabalo Gachati. Sentence J. Sabala Gachati. That girl goes. No Sandhi to be applied. They remain unchanged. Sabala Gachati. Um, so, the, the sentence K. Um, Sahabala iva gachami, like that boy, I go. Become Sahabala iva. All that happens there is you 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 drop those uh, visargas. Sahabala iva gachami. L. Aho Rama. Hey Rama. Now Aho. It's one of those not very common words in Sanskrit where the where the you know, the root form of it the primary form of it ends in an O. Uh, so here that this is um, aho is just a word, freestanding word on its own. No sandhi to be to be applied. Tasminvane savasati. So the drop the visarga of the savasati. He dwells. Tasminvane. Locative in that forest. Remember, not tasmevane, tasminvane, the special smin ending um, of the of the um, of the pronominal declension, masculine neuter pronominal de declension. Um, sentence n, written as sitaya mala, sitaya. That's the genitive form of sita. So sita's garland. What happens here? You got the long a, ah, a ah with visarga, before a voiced consonant, the visarga drops, so that becomes sitaya mala. So in sent in uh, exercise number two, you're invited to um, take out the uh, take out the sandhi. Um, and translate. Um, the, the, these sentences are written with correct sandhi. So, sa sena nripanjayati, that army defeats or conquers the king. Um, what sandhi has been applied to make this sentence? Well, the only sandhi that's been applied is um, nripam then is written as a visarga and pronounced um, as a palatal nripanjayati, written as the dot, subdotted M in transliteration, as a dot above the consonant, you see nripanjayati, and pronounced palatally nripanjayati to reflect the the, neck, the following consonant, j nripanjayati. Uh, sentence B. Um, Rama iva balo dharmikosti. So Rama like, like Rama, the boy is virtuous. Rama iva, Rama like Rama, balo dharmikosti. Uh, before applying sandhi, that would be Rama iva balaha dharmikaha asti. So dharmikaha asti dharmikosti. And Balaha dharmikosti becomes balo dharmikosti. And ramaha iva, of course, becomes rama iva, following the usual rule, the a, followed by a vowel other than a. Uh, sentence C. Tava praja katam pateti. So your, your offspring, your child, tava praja katam pateti, reads the story. And the only sandhi that has been applied here is that the final M of katam has become an uswara. Sentence D. Gajasya chayayam prajastishtanti. You can have, by the way, we can't have progeny. I don't think we use progenies. We don't have that in the plural. But praja, cognate with progeny, but you can have it in the singular, um, meaning progeny or a particular child. You can use it in the plural to mean children. So, um, gajasya chayayam, so gajasya of the elephant, chayayam 
in the shadow, prajas tishtanti. Without sandhi, it would be praja tishtanti. But visarga with the following t, as it becomes a sir, so prajas tishtanti. So the children stand in the in the shadow of the elephant. Note, in case you were puzzled by the double ch, if you look at this um, gajasya, gajasya chayayam, it's written as a double ch. Hmm. That's because um, the, the aspirated ch becomes double, you double it, before a preceding short vowel. In fact, the rule is that with, if it's preceded by a short vowel, it must be doubled. If it's preceded by a long vowel, it um, is optionally doubled, unless the long vowel is the verbal prefix a, ah, in which case it's a mandatory doubling. But just notice with a vowel, you know, simple rule is if a vowel precedes a, an aspirated ch, it has the effect of doubling the ch, not only within a word internal sandhi, but also sandhi between the words. That's why you have gajasya chayayam, not gajasya chaya, chayayam, but, but gajasya chayayam, double that ch. It's got no grammatical significance. It's pure, purely a rule of um, santi. So sentence E, we're now at the top of page 152. Um, So, nripasya putrika sitasti. Nripasya putrika, the king's daughter. Sita asti, by simple santi there, the merging of a final long or short a with a, with a following long or short a, both just merged into a long a. So, sita asti becomes sita asti. Nripasya putrika sitasti. Sita is the is the king's daughter. And sentence F. Um, he serves the the teacher's wife. So the acharya is the teacher. I think you all know by now that um, in Thai, a senior monk is referred to as ajan, not just um, bhikkhu, but ajan. Ajan is actually the same word as the Acharya. It's just in the phonetics of modern Thai, it's just pronounced Ajahn, but it's written as Acharya, and it, it is that same word. So Acharyasya, Acharyasya Bharya is the teacher's wife. He serves the teacher's wife, Acharyasya Bharya Sevate, save to serve, and it's an Atmanepada. So, sevate. And the sa there at the beginning of the sentence, it's you know, kind of optional. You could say, acharyasya bharya sevate. Um, it wouldn't, you, you'd normally put it in for emphasis. He does that, but the other person does something different. You use the sa. So, um, it, it's often optional. Um, like the, you know, like for example in, in Spanish and Italian where the personal pronoun is often left out because it's obvious from the, the form of the verb which it is, but it's inserted um, to either for emphasis or to avoid ambiguity or to make a contrast. Um, for example, I know in Spanish is se and he knows is sabe. But if you want to say, well, I don't know, but he knows, um, you wouldn't say no se pero sabe. You'd make emphasize the difference. Say yo no se pero el sabe, using the yo and 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 the and the l to make make the contrast between the two. And you would do 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 the same in 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 Italian. You do the same in Latin as well. And I think most languages, well, most languages I've seen that um, where you where the verb shows which person it is, um, you will still use the personal pronoun. For, for, for emphasis and contrast and, and the like. Um, sentence G, the king has a daughter. Nripasya um, putrika, 
that looks like just the king's daughter. Um, there is a daughter to the king. I think it would be actually more normal to say Nrapasya um, Putrika Asti, so Nrapasya Putrikasti, literally of the king a daughter is. I'm not quite happy with the way um, Eganus has put this. It's just about technically feasible, but it uh, strikes me as not quite right. So the king has a daughter, and say Nrapasya Putrika Asti, Putrika Asti. Um, sentence H, with knowledge, the student obtains immortality. Um, using the instrumental here, because it's by by means of knowledge. So, vidya, instrumental, vidya, nominative, vidyaya, remember, senaya, instrumental, vidyaya. So, vidyaya, shishyaha, amritam, labhate. Um, that's without the Santi, with the Santi Vidyaya, Shishyo Mritam Labhate. So Shishya Amritam comes Shishyo Mritam Labhate. Remember, Atmane Pada, it's Labhate, not Labhati, he obtains. And sentence I, like that girl, Sita, sorry, Sa Baleva Sita Grihangachati. So the Baleva is um, by Sandhi from Bala plus Iva. The A plus I um, coalesces by Sandhi into an A. So Sa Baleva. So that girl, like like that girl, Sita Grihang Gachati. Um, so we have two Sandhis here, Bala Iva, Baleva, and the Griham. Gachati becomes Anuswara, Grihang Gachati. Now, exercise number three. There is a girl, Sita by name, um, in that village. In the key, which you'll find a page, where is it? Page two, 278. Um, you'll find these sentences written without Sandhi, in Devanagari, written without Sandhi and then with Sandhi. So, there is a girl, just Astikanya, Sita by name. Or the, we, in English, we'd you know, say that more commonly say there is a girl called Sita. So we say in Sanskrit, Sita Nama. There is a girl, Sita by name, Tasmin Grame, in that village. Um, when you see it written with Sandhi in the key, the only difference is that Tasmin, with an N with the N, with Virama, Grame, um, write it in Roman first, Tasmin Grame in that village. In Devanagari, Um, that's been grame. Um, it is a requirement of correct orthography, correct spelling in um, Devanagari that you've got to merge those two consonants. Sorry. For this. Uh, um, so you'd have to write it like this. So tasmin, just write the first part of it, the, and then like that, grame, tasmin grame. If you wrote it like that, you know, it just it, it just look looks wrong. I mean, it's a proper spelling as to, you know, it would obviously be understood if you wrote it like that, but it would be regarded as um, substandard spelling. Um, sentence B. The daughter of the virtuous king is very afraid. So you would put that into Sanskrit of the virtuous king, the daughter. That we remember dharmika, virtuous, dharmikasya, nrapasya, putrika, of the virtuous king, the daughter. Dharmikasya, nrapasya, putrika is very afraid. You can use ativa, ativa. Bhita Bhavati is extremely afraid. 
Um, and in this one, Dharam Gesnerasya Putriyasya um, Putrika Ativa Bhita Bhavati. There's only one Santi that you um, have to apply here, and that is the, um, oh, no, two Santis, the Putrika Ativa. Sorry, get, get back to it. Only one Santi, Putrika Ativa, becomes by merge, by coalescence of the A. Uh, a and the A, um, putrikativa, putrikativa bhita bhavati. Sentence C, he tells me again, that subject says. Um, subject, praja, um, I told you earlier, and that's where, what it basically means, the praja um, progeny, but sometimes it does mean subject on the grounds that you, know, you are the, the children of the king or treated as the children of the of, of the monarch. So it, is, it does sometimes have the meaning of subject, as in subjects of the of the of the monarch. So he tells me again, again to me, use the accusative, says punar mam vadati. Thus that subject iti. That subject says, even if the subject, by the way, you're talking about a person who is a subject of the crown, um, it's um, whether it's whether the person is, a, is masculine, is a male or a female, you'd use the word praja, which is not always automatically feminine. So, say sa praja vadati, irrespective of whether the praja, the subject, is, is a man or, or a woman. So, punar mam vadati iti becomes punar mam vadati iti. Sa praja vadati. Punar mam vadati ti sa praja vadati. Um, and again, it's got um, sandhi vadati iti, becomes vadati ti. And punar mam, the M of the mam becomes anuswara. And in, um, in spelling, um, again, on its own, see, punar again to me, punar mam. Sorry, oh goodness me, had I forgotten to show you my iPad all this time? Oh silly me. Um, oops. So, so sorry, all of, all of the stuff I had been writing um, for you, I, don't, I, I forgot to call up my iPad. Um, here I was saying the sa gachati, showing you how the sa is just written as that single letter on its own, sa gachati. Here I was giving you the example of the, the doubling of the ch, so the ch, doubling of the aspirated ch, so ch plus ch, written like that. And also just showing you how to write tasmin grame. Um, you, if you wrote it like that with the virama under the N, that would be bad spelling. It would be understood, but bad spelling. So you have to run them together. So the n g r like that tasmin tasmin grame. Sorry about that. So punar mam um, in Sanskrit. You have to write it with, you see, punar, punar mam. So this one here is the r, which is a little hook at the top, written at the top right, even though it's pronounced first. So this, this group is pronounced rma, rma. Um, it would be wrong, punar mam. That you no, know, that would just that 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 just is wrong and looks wrong. But you might find it written occasionally like that, in texts that deliberately separate the words for the for the to to help students. You do sometimes find that. So you will will occasionally find written as punar mam, but only as it were deliberately wrongly to help students um, so separate the words. Now, sentence D, aha, I remember that story, the girl says. So the aha would be like, aho, aho. Um, I remember that story, aham, tam, katam, remember accusative, 
Tam Katam Smarami. Smarati, to remember. The verbal noun is smriti, literally remembering. It's the same word that came to be used in mindfulness. In its Pali form, it is sati. So sati actually is from the Sanskrit smriti, meaning re re remembering. It's the same word. But the basic original meaning was just to remember in the ordinary way. Um, so aho, ahan tam katam smarami. I, that story, remember. Iti kanyavadati. Um, and with uh, santi, aho ahantam katam smarami tikanya vadati. Aho ahantam kanyam smarami tikanya vadati. The santi that applies there is the, the ones where you have the final m, aham, tam, katam. They all become an uswara because they're all the final m followed by a consonant. And uh, smarami, I remember, smarami iti, by the usual rules, becomes smarami iti, and the end kanyavadati. Um, sentence E, with knowledge you obtain immortality, with ignorance you obtain suffering. So again, we use the instrumental, remember sena, instrumental senaya, so by knowledge, vidyaya amritam labhase. Let's just break it up um, bit by bit. So vidyaya amritam labhase with santi vidyaya amritam labhase. With ignorance, you obtain suffering. Avidyaya. Dukkam labhase. With Santi Avijaya, that remains unchanged. Dukkam labhase becomes Dukkam labhase. So reading it all with, with Santi. Vidyaya mritam labhase. Avijaya dukkam labhase. Uh, sentence F. Like those girls, Sita reads books. Um, so, taha, kanyaha, iva, sita, pustakani, patati. So, those girls like sita books reads, taha, kanyaha, iva, sita, pustakani, patati. There's only one santi rule to be applied here, and um, that is kanyaha. Um, because of the following vowel, all that happens is that it loses the visarga. So, taha, tah, kanya, iva, sita, pustakani, patati. That's from pustakam, neuter, a book, so the plural pustakani, pustakani, patati. Sentence three The wife of Rama is sita. Um, sorry, sentence G, I, I skipped ahead. Where is our daughter? The hero, hero asks the wife. So, our daughter, um, you'd use the dual there because the man is presumably talking about himself and, and his wife only. So, of, of us two is Avayo. So, Avayo Putrika is our daughter. So, where our daughter Asti, where our daughter is. Kutra avayo putrika asti. The hero asks his wife. So, where is our daughter? Iti. The hero asks his wife. Um, so, vira tasya bharyam prichati. Vira tasya Bharyam Prichati, the hero asks his wife, which with Santi then becomes Virastasya Bharyam Prichati. It would be more common to leave out the Tasya, the hero asks the wife. You'd normally, if you're in a sentence like this, the, the man is looking for his daughter, you just said the man looking for the daughter. You'd normally understand who, who, whose daughter he was looking for, his own daughter. The hero asks, the wife, you we nor common to say in Sanskrit, um, but the, the, this form is still correct. So, 
Kutra with um, uh, with Santi Kutra Avayo becomes Kutra Avayo. Kutra Avayo Putrika Stiti Putrika Asti Iti Putrika Stiti. So Kutra Avayo Putrika Stiti. Where is our daughter? Iti, unquote. Viras tasya bhariyam prachati, the hero asks his wife. Um, sentence H, and the wife of Rama is Sita. Ramasya bhariya Sita asti. So of Rama the wife, Ramasya bhariya Sita asti. Only one sandhi to be applied here, that is between Sita and Asti, becomes Sita Asti. So Ramasya Bharya Sita Asti. Sentence I now. The hero obtains a garland and thus obtains a wife. So without sandhi, Viraha Malam Labhate. Evam, in that way, evancha, and in that way, and thus, bhariyam labhate. So with santi, vira malam becomes viro malam, malam labhate, that becomes an, an, uh, an uswara, so malam, malam, and nasalized, and double, malam labhate, evancha. Bhariyam, Bhariyam Labhate. There's a mistake, by the way, I see in the key um, because it's written as Labhata. If you look at uh, page 280, second line of Devanagari, it's written as Labhata. It should be Labhate, as in the first line of Devanagari, where it's correctly written as um, lab Labhate. So, Viro Malam Labhate, Evancha Bhariyam Labhate. And sentence J, without Sita, I am as if without the sun, meaning the sun in the sky, Rama says. Now use the word Vina, meaning without, and it takes the um, instrumental. So Sita, nominative, Sitaya Vina, without Sita. Sitaya Vina, Suryena Vina. Iva, as if without the sun, asmi. Suryena vina iva asmi. Sun without, as if I am. Iti rama vadati. Thus Rama says. Now, internal sandhi to be applied here, because suryena, the ya, does not block the effect of the r on retroflexing the na. So it's suryena with a sub-dotted N, with a retroflex N. So, sitaya vina suryena vina iva asmi iti. The sun without I am thus. So, um, so the sun without as if I am iti. So, vina iva. The A and the E merge to A, so Vina Iva becomes Vineva, Iva Asmi becomes Ivasmi, and Asmi Iti becomes as, Asmiti. So Vina Iva, so Suryena Vina Iva Asmi Iti becomes Suryena Vine, Vineva Smiti, Vineva Smiti, Ramu Vadati. So I'll read that again. First of all, without Santi, and then with Sitaya Vina Suryen Vina Iva Asmi Iti Rama Vadati. With Santi Sitaya Vina Suryena Vineva Smiti Ramo Vadati. And that uh, concludes this video. Um, and the next one, um, video number three for lesson 11, I'll be going through the, um, the story of the, the monkey and the crocodile.